Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue talking about the child process module in Node.js. And today we will essentially focus on some of the options you can provide uh, to affect how this child process is going to behave with regards to the parent. All right, now what we've done in this video series so far, we've talked about how to start child processes uh, using the different functions that Node provide to do such a thing. And these functions uh, that we've talked about are the child process that spawn, uh, that exec that exec file, and that fork. But what we've not done is uh, try and uh, provide uh, different options to see how the child process will behave depending on what these options would be. Okay, so when you spawn a process, you can provide some options, and these options that you can provide are these options right here. Okay, so this is the current working directory. So you can change that and provide a new directory for that child process to be uh, 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 to be started in. Uh, the env is going to be the environment variables that are going to be available to that child process. And by default, this is going to be a process that env from the parent. Okay, so you can change that if you like, but by default that's what it's going to be. And this is essentially what you get when you type, type env to any uh, Linux-based uh, uh, system. It will give you uh, uh, the environment variables. Argv is going to default. That's essentially the first argument that is provided to that child process. And usually that's going to be the command that you start this process with. But you are allowed to change that if you like. And that's going to be like to some path to the binary that's going to start the process. <laughs> Standard IO is going to be an array of streams. And uh, these streams are by default uh, standard in, standard out, and standard error in that order. Uh, so standard in uh, in uh, in index zero, standard out index one, and standard error index two. You can provide a string, uh, a syntactic sugar, that will sort of dictate uh, what uh, uh, will happen with these streams. Okay. Pipe is what happens by default, meaning that child process is going to have its own standard in, standard out, and standard error. Ignore would mean will mean that these streams will be null, and inherit would mean that these streams will be inherited from the parent. Detach means that you may want to start that child process uh, that is detached from the parent meaning the parent could end its execution while the start process while the child process keeps running and uh, we have these IDs here user ID group ID then you have the shell uh, shell it, you can provide a boolean saying true if you'd like to start a shell and run that child process into it and you can provide a string to sort of specify which shell if you have several shell programs on your computer you can specify which one you'd like uh, node to run this child process in all right so we're not really going to mess with these three since you know i've never used them so if you want to get some more information on these just visit the nodes documentation website or just give it a google and see uh, what kind of information you can get on that and today we'll essentially going to focus on standard io Okay, so let's go back to our script here and see how we can affect that child process using standard IO. Okay, so what we've done in these uh, videos so far, uh, like we, like I said, we've we've shown how to start child processes. Okay, and uh, just something like this, you could if we run it. Okay, let's run that. You can see that you get nothing. You know, it's not that nothing is happening that child process is running it's printing to some stream to standard to its own standard out stream uh, whatever it gets from that program All right, it's the, the reason we don't get anything to the console is because here 
what we're getting is the standard out of the parent. What we've done in the in the previous videos to get that data is we've listened for the data event on that uh, standard out uh, stream of that child process. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna get that data as an argument in that callback function. And you can do whatever you want with this, uh, but uh, in this case, what we're going to do is just print it out to the console. Okay. Uh, all right. So if now you run this program, you can see you get uh, what's being printed to that child uh, uh, standard out stream to the parent uh, 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 standard out stream, which is what you did with console.log right here. You can see this is data here. Data colon. That's what you did out there. All right. Now. What you and you know we did the same thing for error. You know we listened for the error event for the child process. We listened for standard error and so on. All right. So, but what you can do using standard IO using standard IO you can provide some things here. Okay, the one thing you could do is say that you want to inherit from the parent these streams. Okay, what inherit will do, it will make sure that child process inherits all three streams from the parent, the standard in, standard out, and standard error, which means that whatever data gets printed to these streams, will be printed to the parents uh, 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 process uh, streams. All right, so I can run this again without listening for the data event on the standard out of that child. I still get that same data, okay? And if I were to listen for these, uh, uh, for data event on that standard out stream, I will get an error because that standard out stream is null. Uh, when we do this, we're telling Node we don't expect to be uh, using the standard out of that child or standard error or standard in of that child. Uh, we're going to be using the parents. And uh, you can see if I run this, we get an error here because that standard out is null. And that is the same case for standard in and standard error. All right. So that's inherit. Okay. Okay. The other one. Uh, we can use uh, is pipe, which is essentially the default. So if I use this, I would be listening. You know, I would have to uncomment this and listen if I want to know if I want to get some data. Okay, like, so I could stop this here. I could run this and I get nothing. But if I listen for that data event on these uh, processes, I would get data. Okay. All right, and the other one is ignore. Ignore means I am not interested in listening for anything from that trial process. <coughs> uh, so I'm not going to get uh, anything out. And if I try to listen for this, I will again get an error because standard out, standard error, Standard in will be null. Standard in, standard out, standard error will be null. All right. So, you know, these are the syntactic sugar stuff. So the pipe, the ignore, the inherit are syntactic sugar strings. Okay. Remember, standard IO is a is a is an array. You know, you can actually individually specify what should be done for each of these streams. Okay, so you could say for standard in, you could say ignore. For 
extended out remember this is uh, uh, the index here applies so index 0 is tended in index 2 is tended out and what do I want to do with that I want to inherit okay so which means we're going to inherit standard out from the parent and for standard error we might even start to create a file here and say we want to let error we want to let error be <coughs> fs okay I have the file system module loaded up let's create a, a file here open sync uh, I have a logs directory let's create a file and call it error.txt okay so I'm creating this file and let's say I want it to be the stream that this child process prints it uh, prints its errors to and when you create this you have to provide some flag I want to append so this file would not be created every time I run this program it will be appended to Alright, so if there's an error, uh, it will be printed to that uh, file right here. So let's run this again. Okay, so that still works. There was no error. But uh, let's say, let's say I did something like this. Okay. Let's say I did something like this. Okay. Pub, you know, this would mean the directory we want to run this on is pub directory and I don't have this directory in here so let's run this and see what happens we get an error now let's look for that file see we get that error printed to that file okay pub no such file or directory all right and let's see can't read property on no okay actually let's uh, let's get rid of this that was for the previous test if you run this again you know additional stuff will be appended to that file all right so this is essentially how you could have uh, and all of these could be uh, files so you could add additional files here let uh, out for example out could be a file as well open sync Okay, and let's name that file out at txt. And we want the same flag here. Okay, and instead of inherit here, we just get out. So whatever we get out of that child is going to be printed to out. I'm guessing we're not getting anything. Well, yeah, of course, because it's an error. All right, so let's do something serious where there's no error. Okay, we run that. Nothing prints to the console here and no additional errors. But out, we get the files. Uh, we got the data printed to, to this file right here. All right, so you can affect uh, uh, how the streams of that child process will behave depending on what arguments you provide for the uh, what options you provide for the standard IO uh, option. All right, so this is the video, guys. Uh, in, in in this in this video, we essentially looked at uh, the standard IO option and how you think you can affect how the child processes uh, streams, uh, meaning uh, standard in, standard out, and standard IO. I mean, standard error will behave uh, uh, based on what options you provide. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.